now it's time to go ahead and put our power supply in. So before we do this, just to make threading a little bit easier, I am going to pre-install the power cables. So positive goes on the outside, the white, which is for the switch, goes in the center. And the black goes on this side. Um, so I'm also going to put the P4 connector on right now just to avoid torquing the board. This board, for some reason or another, was designed with only two screws. Mainly because that's what most cases take, but it doesn't leave a lot of board, a lot of support when you go to apply pressure to install the connector. So I'm going to install this right here on the bench um, ahead of time. And the other thing that we want to install, we might as well just do it right now, is our LED connectors. So these are polarity sensitive. Um, so I'm going to put these on in the right order. Plus being here minus being that way. And the other thing we're going to need, might as well hook up this case switch. So if we ever wanted to manually switch it, most of the time it's going to be controlled by the ignition, but which, which is this wire. But if we ever wanted to manually switch it, we're going to have this case switch hooked up. Um, car computers, of course, never crash. I'm joking, of course, but uh, you could use that switch to do a hard power off if you needed to. Um, so before we stuff this in here, we're going to want to fish our wires through here. I did this first because these are <coughs> heavy duty wires and to bend this gauge of wire uh, is a little bit tricky after it's already been put in place. So. We have about two inches to spare. I just curl it up and slide it in, and we are ready to go. Now, one of the things to do here is, if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, just put a put a put your screw in here first into the hole. So that way, when you get when you get this lined up, you don't have to try and use a pair of needle nose pliers. Or some other type of heroics just to get your power supply screw in. Do the other one. If you had an amplifier in your car, uh, an external amplifier in your car that you wanted to control, you would use this red pin right here to control the amp power on and off. Um, so we happen to have a 10 by 2 ATX connector here and that gets plugged into this side of the board. Um, we're not using 12, a 12-pin 12 ATX connector, and it's not going to hurt anything with this install. Uh, we're going to install our, our P4 12-volt connector, which provides extra 12-volt power to the motherboard. Uh, now that we've got everything installed, plugged in, out of the way, uh, we are going to put our 2 gigabyte memory slot in here. Ooh, and of course we have to put it in the right direction. Um, that's why they make these things notched and foolproof. Um, so that's a good lesson where if you don't, you don't want to push those things in too hard. It should relatively easily snap in place. And if it doesn't, triple check before you go nuts and, and, uh, and break something. So now we can um, continue to fish these extra USB ports through. Uh, I'm going to line them up so they look nice on the outside here. And power goes towards the back plate, which is the red wire. Okay. Uh, so we have one done. Two done. All right, 
So it makes for a slightly cluttered back plate, but the nice thing is you have all your connectors all in one spot. Um, you can mount this underneath the seat, and all the cables come out one side of the device. Okay, so now the next step is to wrap up the cable. All right, so now it's time to put in our hard drive connector. Before we do that, let's put the power connector in first. So again, the red pin, the red pin one goes over close to these headers, which let you select whether it's a master or slave drive. We're going to put it in cable select mode. So it's easy. We only have one drive. Power goes on this far end. If we drop that in place. Oh, before we do that, we need to make sure that, uh, that we plug it into the motherboard. Otherwise, we're going to have some booting problems later. Alrighty. screw in here. Double check everything, make sure all of our connectors are tight. And we have built ourselves a car computer. So in case someone forgets what these connectors are, I just decided to take the free stickers that Intel gives us and stick them on the back. It labels all the ports and connectors and everything like that. Strip the ends and now we're really done.